Hey guys, we're Lady and Ethan, and we're here making life brighter one view at a time. We just flew across the country just to go to church, but let's start at the very beginning and we'll catch you up to where we are right now. We just left our kiddos with my parents who flew all the way in from Utah just to watch them. And we are now going through security. Oh my goodness, you have no idea how much easier this is without four kids. Ethan totally cut his knuckle going through security. I don't know how that happened, but here we are. We put hand sanitizer on it. It totally stung, but you know, he made it and you gotta dance it off when you're in pain. And just like that, we're in the air headed to Dallas. Good morning from Dallas. Lydia and I just slept in for the very first time in probably a year. And sleeping in for us was sleeping in until me was eight, Lydia was 8.30. So it's a pretty good, pretty good way to start the day. We both are getting ready this morning, but we have to do something really important first before we get this day started. for coffee yeah I need some coffee need some caffeine mm -hmm. did somebody say basic white girl morning someone did somewhere maybe not us but somebody did Hi. okay it's time to rate the coffee let's see how they rank 10 out of 10, okay. 1 out of 10, whatever it is. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Hmm. Thinking about it. Solid 8 out of 10 for my normal Starbucks drink. I get the same drink every time. I love this drink. It's very good. I could have used a tiny bit more sweet cream, but it's an 8 out of 10. It's really good. 8.5 nitro sweet cream with cold brew yours looks frothy it is frothy it looks as ever real frothy let's go okay on to destination two so we don't have chick-fil-a where we live like they have it in michigan but the closest one is about an hour and 20 minutes away so anytime we go on vacation we pretty much always get chick-fil-a per my request Wow. That is a really loud there plane. There is a plane flying straight over top of us. That's what happens when you're close to the airport. But Ethan, I don't feel like Ethan's that into Chick-fil-A like I am, but I grew up with it in Utah, so I just, mm, I love it. So good. What do you like? I like Lydia. <laughs> Ethan, what is your favorite thing to get from Chick-fil-A? My favorite drink is the diet lemonade. Oh, it's so it good. Is really good. It's so good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. Yeah, I can totally do this. Oh, I'm totally doing that. Can we bring our <laughs> drinks in? Well, apparently it's not this Chick-fil-A's pleasure. So that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, that was that's probably the, the that's most That's the first time I've ever been to any Chick-fil-A where not a single employee said it's my pleasure. Or just they're like not super friendly. They were they weren't not ah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're okay. good. We're still good. Okay, so we just had our coffee, we had our breakfast, and we're actually about to go to the movies. But before we go to the movies, we want to tell you guys why we're in Dallas, Texas. Babe, why are we here? Yeah, so we're here for a pastor's gathering that's over the next two days at Upper Room. And we are just so excited. We love what God is doing at Upper Room. We really appreciate them and just who they are. And so we're excited for the week. So for those of you who don't know, Lydia and I are lead pastors at our church in Michigan. And we've come down here to really just learn and glean from the leaders at Upper Room. 
We really, really admire them. If you want to check out their YouTube channel, you definitely should because they, they post all their different uh, sermons and their different uh, services. And it's been really, really impactful for Lydia and I. So we wanted to come down here and learn from them. Yep. So in about four hours, we're going to go do our first session. So we've got some time to kill. So let's go see a movie. What you doing, babe? I am making room in my bag to put these drinks in there so that we can bring our drinks into the movie because I am that person. Okay, ready? I'm watching. Wow, pro status. I hope, I hope I can- I'm just gonna leave I it. I hope like they that. can just catch you because that would be hilarious to watch you get caught with that. No big deal. It's fine. It's funny. Anybody else relate to coming outside after a movie and you can't see anything because everything's so bright? It was so dark. I've never been in a darker yeah, movie theater in my so life. Dark. So like, they dark. They didn't have any side lights going on, just like dark. Which I, I actually liked it, but yeah. now that I'm outside, I feel like I got flashbanged. All right. For starters, we're big Guardians fans, so we may have a biased opinion on this. Guardians but never fails. We just love it, and we love the music throughout it always, like all the nostalgia, and it's just. Okay, the fact that they Guardians. almost got me crying because a raccoon and an otter were in love and best friends. I almost started crying because of two robot animals. That's when you know it's good. It was good. It was a good movie. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Dang it. Okay, so we are about to head out. We're gonna go to the first session of the Upper Room Pastors Gathering. And I am really excited about not being on task. If you're not familiar with the life of a pastor, every single Sunday, um, a lot, they're doing more than you probably realize and they're organizing things and um, really just trying to make sure that microphones are working, that everybody, all the volunteers feel appreciated and loved and most of all that we are making a space for the Lord to come and be with us. So being a pastor is really mentally fatiguing. And the thing I'm most excited about tonight is just being there, not thinking about things, not thinking about like if anybody needs anything, not worried about like saying thank you to everybody. Not like, not that any of that's bad. It's just when you're pastoring, it just can get really exhausting. And so I'm excited to just be and just absorb. And we have no kids to pick up at the end of the service. Yes. That's also really nice, being parents and being able to be in a service where we're not like checking in our kids, making sure they're not having an accident over there, going and getting them. Like all of it's rewarding. Being a parent's rewarding, being a pastor is rewarding, but mm -hmm. it's also just so nice to slow down and just focus on like what the Lord is doing in the room and not anything else. Yeah, I would say 90% of my mental fatigue is just trying to get my kids to stop running around the room and fighting. So Yeah, it's like an <laughs> MMA match yeah. in the altar area. So we're going to give you a sneak peek into Lydia and I's weekend here at Upper Room and the amazing culture that they're creating. Um, yeah, I think you're going to like it. And if you're not a Christian, I think you should keep watching because I think a lot of times we think church is boring. I think you're going to see that it is exactly not that. It is vibrant, exciting, and amazing. So keep watching. We had such a fun two days at Upper Room. At this point in our trip, we really didn't get much footage of what the conference was like because we really wanted to soak in every moment. Each day, we enjoyed an hour of prayer, special speakers, and amazing worship sets where every pastor in the room became completely undone worshiping Jesus. We, on the second day of the conference, enjoyed a lunch with other pastors from around the world and were able to have a Q&A time with the lead pastors of Upper Room. We left Dallas feeling full and overflowing with joy from this trip, even though we had to wake up at 2.30 a.m. to catch our flight home. Okay, it's three in the morning, and I look amazing. So it's a little uh, super tired. Let's go home. 
As we traveled home, practically sleepwalking, I looked through all my notes that were taken from the weekend. This note stood out to me. There is a big difference between the active leadership of Jesus and Jesus' leaders. Jesus' leaders have limitations, but Jesus does not have limitations to his leadership. We should be seeking him to lead us in every decision we make, both in life and in church. We have more questions than we have answers, but we know that all of those answers to those questions are found in Jesus. What would church look like if we depended on Jesus' active leadership? What would our lives look like if Jesus was actively leading us each day? As we landed back in Michigan, we both felt a major sense of excitement for what God is going to do in our church and in Michigan. We grabbed our luggage and Ethan thought it would be so cool to get a shot of the camera on the luggage carousel. We made our way to airport parking and we're tired, exhausted, but so glad to be home and see our kids after being away. Okay, we're back. But I wanted ah. to, well, he's throwing stuff, she's angry. Um, so our bus driver who got us to our car, like the airport parking, you know what I'm talking about. Um, he's straight up just listening to like the shiny. He's, he's listening something. to like cinematic horror music Horrible. or like suspense, suspense music. And the only thing I can think of is I'm like, we're all about to be murdered. Like he is setting the scene. He's about to murder everybody on this bus because this is what his preference is. This is what he's going to listen to today is classical cinematic suspense music that would be straight up somebody's about to go die. I have never heard anybody listen to that by choice. Like, why? It's a beautiful I, nine day at 9 a.m., 65 degrees outside, sun's coming out. Let's listen to music that would be on a horror film. I respect the fact that this guy's like, you know what? I don't want to listen to trash music. I want to listen to a, si a symphony. To to. I want to listen to symphonic beauty. That was his choice. And we must have just gotten the track that was like the suspense murder scene of the movie. Yes. So, Something else. Yeah. Anyways, oh, yeah, got a we're back to anxiety. Michigan. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. And smashing that like button. We'll see you next time. You make life brighter. Don't forget it. Go change your world. Be the light in the world. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you on the next one.